Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to the Over Eight Minutes podcast with me, Sam Matthews. This time, we all going to be on our best behaviour. We're going to have to stand up, dress properly, look the part. We have got the chairman of St. Mirren Football Club joining us today. He has graciously taken time out of his very busy day. It was very hard to get a, call, a hold of, but he was so worth the wait. John Needham, welcome to the podcast, sir. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Yeah, um, had a busy day through at the club today, but um, yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful evening and happy to be talking to you. I'm happy that you managed to come on. I thought it was, I've spent, I was telling you before we came on air, I've spent so long messaging footballers. My phone looks like a 15-year-old's Tinder at the moment. Literally nothing going on. And then you were gracious enough to reply and go, yep, yeah, I'll come on. I'll give you my time. And I thought it was my friends on the wind-up. I thought one of my friends had changed his profile picture. So I'm happy that you decided to come on. Always. I'm a, any chance to promote the club and um, what we're trying to do, I'm, I'm always up for it. And obviously your dad did work for me. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, always, it always helps when you can ring in your old man to talk, pull a few favours for you. Well, we'll get started with the essentials. I've abandoned the quick fires. We're going to the quick three now. So I always start off with what is one piece of sporting memorabilia you wish you could have hanging on your wall? Yeah, well, this was, uh, I would say for me, it would be Pele's jersey, a jersey worn by the world famous Pele. Um, because when I was a youngster, he was he was it. Um, and, you know, he was mm -hmm. the most amazing player so yeah a jersey that worn by the great telly would be would be for me yeah i don't think that would look out of place in any hall of fame i think that would go well on any wall so secondly what is the favorite piece of sports memorabilia or kit you've ever owned personally that calls back to your memory um well i've got a newspaper um from the first time when well when st Mirren won the cup in 1959 so I've actually got the Evening Citizen um, from Glasgow for that particular evening, um, which is very fragile. It's in a poly bag in a, in a box, um, uh, but I, it's a very much a treasured uh, heirloom because my dad was at the game um, and he gave me the newspaper. So, you know, that's, and it's, so Mern have only won the Scottish Cup three times. So that was one of those three times. So uh, that's, that's a bit special for me. And um, certainly wouldn't, I wouldn't, sell it or give it away to anyone and um, that's it's, it's I, crazy. that's it i call, i never thought you would say newspaper in a million years but the way you described it there i think that trumps anything i've had so far i've had people mention commonwealth gold medals winning kit but the fact you go <laughs> dad was at the game brought it back i think that trump i generally think that trumps it uh, there's actually a sort of slightly funny story attached to it because my dad was at the game that night and um this was before he had married my mother um, and he was due to meet her on a date that evening, um, oh. but he got absolutely soaked getting back to Paisley. <laughs> now I don't know if it was soaked inside or outside, but anyway, um, <laughs> he, he anyway he failed to turn up for the date, and this was obviously the time before phones and all that sort of stuff. So he he turned up at my mother's house on the Sunday, <laughs> acting as if nothing had gone wrong at all, and he was sent packing. So. It, it, the the marriage almost never happened as a consequence of that cup final day. So I, I might not have been here um, if I didn't make <laughs> up and uh, you know and actually get together afterwards. Yeah. So basically, basically, your mother had the patience of a saint, and that paper is the biggest what if in the Needham family history tree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, quite, <laughs> that's quite a point. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and lastly, the iconic question that I regret putting in the intro because all my mates keep making me put it in now. So when I get credible people like yourself on, I now always ask you, would you prefer a bourbon or a custard cream? Uh, definitely a bourbon. Yeah, bourbon for me. Chocolate, trumps, uh, custard. Yeah. 